Hi folks. Today we are going to just be doing a nice simple vinyasa flow. And we'll start off with a sun salutation. So come with me to the front of your mat. We're going to sweep the arms out and up and back bend. Oh, getting a nice stretch here. Exhale as you swan dive down. Fingertips are on the floor. Take the right foot back. For lunge, making sure your knee is over your ankle. And then take the left foot back to me for plank. If you need the modification, you can drop the knees down. Now I want you to rotate the eyes of the elbows forward. Take the elbows straight back. Press them against your rib cage as you stop. Two inches off the floor. Ha ha ha. Then lower all the way down and press up for cobra. If you need the modification, you can come here to sphinx. And then from here, you're going to press back up into a downward facing dog. And you can bicycle the heels to the floor to get a nice stretch in the hamstrings and the calves. And press into it. Press the chest through the arms, looking at your thighs. And then you're going to bring the right foot through the legs, for, through the hands for lunge, straight line, knee to ankle. And again, if you need the modification, drop that knee down. But then you're going to bring that left foot up to meet the right. Coming back to your forward fold. Reaching the crown of the head to the floor. Tailbone to the ceiling. Elongating that spine. Now reverse the swan dive, sweeping the arms out and up. And back bend. And come into your mountain pose and take a breath before we go to the other side. And again, inhale and back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Fingertips on the floor. Left foot goes back this time for lunge, using whatever modifications you need to. Right foot back for plank. Again, using whatever modifications you need to. Elbow straight back, stop two inches off the floor, and then lower down. Pressing up, cobra, long neck, broad chest. Press those shoulders down and away from those earlobes. Curling the toes under, go into that downward facing dog. This time, left leg is going to come forward for lunge, right in between the hands, knee down for the modification, right foot. Meet, forward fold. Again, reverse that swan dive and back bend. Oh, my back is cracking and creaking. That's what happens when you get to be my age. And then stop here for your mountain pose. That's your breathing cue. Now take that left foot back, opening out. We're going to move into triangle. So you're going to reach and lower down for your triangle. You can always use a block for your modification, but make sure the shoulders are stacked and the hip is stacked. And then you're going to bend that front knee, coming into a warrior two, proud warrior, straight line, fingertip to fingertip. And then you're going to flip that front hand up and then reach back for reverse warrior. Getting a nice stretch in that side body. And then you're going to windmill down. Framing the foot with both hands. Turn that back foot in. Straighten that front leg. Nice flat back. Exhale as you press the torso toward the leg for pyramid. Then you're going to bend that front knee, sweeping the arms up. For warrior one, exalted warrior. Again, shoulders are down, chest is lifted. Straightening that front leg and open back out to a five point star. Now let's take it to the other side. You're gonna reach and lower down for triangle. Shoulders and hips stacked, nice open chest. Bending that front knee. To a warrior two. Flip that hand up 
and then sweep it back for reverse warrior. I got the sun in my eyes. Let's windmill it down. Or pyramid pose, squaring off the hips. So bring this hip forward, opposite hip back, pressing the torso to the leg, nice flat back. Now bend that front knee and sweep the arms alongside the ear for warrior one, exalted warrior. Straighten that front leg and let's come back to five point star. Placing the hands on the waist, toes are pointed forward, and you're going to hinge forward from the hip flexors. Nice flat back, straight line from the crown of the head to the tailbone. If I were to turn sideways, you could set, you could see that I could set a martini glass on my butt. Just saying. Continue all the way down. Placing one hand on each ankle, lower the crown of the head to the floor. Lift the tailbone to the ceiling. Think of an anterior pelvic tilt. Pressing the pelvis downward, tailbone upward, moving the shoulders away from the earlobes. Now you're going to place the hands right in front of you. And you're going to take that right hand right in the center of the nose and take that left arm up. And open that arm as far back as you can go, opening up that chest for a nice spinal twist here, as well as a hamstring stretch. Then lower that hand down, replacing the other. Take the opposite hand up, opening up that chest. Ah, and then lower that hand back down. Now you're going to heel toe the feet together. Heel toe coming into a forward fold. Moving into a standing table, arms are right alongside the ears, nice flat back, straight line crown of the head to the tailbone, and then all the way up to exalted mountain. And then sweep the arms down, hands in Anjali Mudra, take a breath. And let's go into a nice balancing pose, simple tree. Now you can have your tree right here like a kickstand. You can have the foot at the calf or at the top of the thigh. You can even wrap it around your neck if you want to. That's up to you, but I'm not there to catch you if you fall. Just saying. Now, wherever your tree may be, bring your hands into prayer at the center of the chest. Shoulders are down. And if you need, I don't know, a chair, a wall to keep you balanced, that's fine too. Oh, that's convenient that I have that there. Anyway, hands in prayer. Nice solid core. Drawing that navel to the, to the back. Tailbone points straight down, tightening the glutes. Chest lifts, shoulders pressed down. Simple hands. Whenever you're ready, keeping that core solid as you extend your branches to the sky. And then open out and lower the hands down. Shake out that leg. Whew. Let's go to the other side. Find your tree, wherever your tree may be, kick, stand, calf, wherever, because we need all of our trees in the forest of life. I love it when I get philosophical like that. Sound very yogic like. Remember, you can have a, cha a chair or wall or desk. Keep you balanced. Abdominals firm, glutes tight, rib cage retracted, chest lifted, shoulders pressed down, and then when you're ready, extend those branches. Good. Keeping those shoulders down as you open out. Lift the chest even higher and lower the legs. Shake it out. Ah. And let's wind this down. Let's go to the ground. Coming to a comfortable cross-legged position. Removing the fleshy part from the sits bones. Placing the hands on the knees. You're going to take that right hand out and up. And reach over to the left. 
Again, a nice stretch in that side body, keeping the shoulder stacked. You can even extend that left arm out to the side. And then sweep it back up. And then let's take it to the other side, reaching the left arm out and up. Take it over to the right. Make sure you keep that knee pressed down. You can have your drift ear gaze facing front or into that elbow. And then come up, walking the hands forward. Nice flat back. Again, shoulders pressed down, reaching the sternum forward, breathing into the posture. And walk the hands back. Let's switch legs. Moving into a spinal twist, taking the arms out and up, inhaling, bringing the left hand in front, right hand behind, lifting up with that chest. Exhale as you move into that spinal twist. If you want a little bit more, you can brace the hand against the knee and take the right hand around behind and grab the thigh or as close as you can get. And look at that back shoulder. Take a breath here. And release hands, torso, and head. Again, sweeping the arms out and up, inhaling. Taking the right hand in front, left hand behind, lifting up nice and high on those ischial tuberosities. Exhale as you move into the spinal twist. Again, if you want more, brace the hand against the knee. Take the opposite hand around behind and look at that back shoulder. Chest lifts, shoulders press down. And release hands, torso, and head. And that should do us for today. Hopefully you had a wonderful stretch and enjoyed your nice yoga session. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Until next time, bye-bye.